Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about uh, the move modify action. Now, there's also a swap action, which kind of does the same thing, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, and, and this video is not going to be super quick, although moving an asset is really simple. The move modify uh, feature is really, really loaded with stuff. Uh, you don't really think about it until you start playing around with it. Uh, so <clears throat> there's two ways to get to it. We can use select action and come down to move modify assets. Or here's the icon, right? We can see it up here. And here's the move modify asset. There's the mouse over. So we're going to click that. Remember, we're in receiving, right? And uh, real quick, here's a little tangent. Here's our, our sub assemblies. So let's move to them. And th our sub assemblies are also in receiving. Okay. That's important to, to, to know. So, oh, well, we got to go back to our triplex pump. So I'm, I bookmarked it. So I'm going to hit bookmark. Here's our pump. And here we are. We're right back where we started. So, okay. Click move modify. Now, uh, you know, most people just look at this and they're like, okay, I'm going to open this up. I'm going to just move it here uh, to a new location and I'm done, right? Well, and you can do that without ever opening up the details of this line. You could either move it to a parent, you could just select a new location, and add a new GL account and just be done with it. But let's, let's take a little bit, let's, let's take a look at the tabs and then we'll get into actual move, right? So while I'm moving this, uh... I could also take the time to set up users and custodians, right? Now, if there was some assigned, I could start, I could, I could make changes. Or I just go here and I can start picking people. Tori Little. Tag Tori, you're it. Now, I could say you're a custodian, a user, the primary. I could even take this, this record off, right? Uh, now, it's, it's asking me for a location, bin, parent, uh, a new priority. Right, so I'll give it a, a deuce. There you go. Give it a two. Uh, now groups. Okay, uh, I can I can assign person groups over this. Right, I even go to person groups from here. Uh, I already signed a user custodian. I don't need to group it uh, or put it in a group. So now attributes. Uh, if there's attributes assigned, remember you can modify them here. You look description data after this look familiar. Modify all. Okay, these are actually attributes found in the specifications and classifications. So under the specifications tab, you'd pick a classification, and then your your attributes that are based on that classification they would be right here. So you know I could pick it and then and then add to it whatever it was, alphanumeric. There's I mean there's a depending on your your database. There's you know uh, PSI. You know pressure reading. You, you could add all those right here, which I think is a really cool feature. Uh, but we're going to go ahead. We're going to go back to assets right now. Uh, before I get into here, let's show another cool feature. The uh, mass move, right? If you were moving more than one asset to the same place, right? Uh, which you don't have to. I can, I can put four assets here and I can move them all to different locations because each one has its own detail line. So I, I can choose uh, all kinds of uh, three lines. I could put three different parents, three different locations, and it wouldn't, Maximo wouldn't even blink. Max would be like, okay, no problem. But if they were all going to the same place to the, or to the same GL account, or if I wanted to assign them all to a new parent or put them all in a new bin, right? Obviously, if I put them in a bin, then the location has to be a storeroom. But if I, if I, if I want, I can... I can hit okay. Let's let's select value. I, I need a new location, right? Uh, and I want operating. So let's let's find me an operating location. Uh, uh, really? Okay, West Quadrant. Uh, whatever. So I could hit apply, and boom, it would change the location value on all of these. So this is the default detail table. It's just called mass move. So default data. Uh, sorry, default data, default detail, whatever. Uh, it's a default table, so whatever information I put in here, when I hit apply, it will apply to every line, right? We're just going to go ahead and go uh, with uh, 540, and I'm going to hit OK. So it's going to say, OK, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Asset is in site, but was moved successfully, right? So we're going to come in here, and yes, it was. It was moved, 
right? West Quadrant. That's where we picked. Now we're going to go to our spare parts. Where did our spare parts go? Where are our spare parts? So we jumped to the pressure pump. And look, they moved with it. That's an important thing to remember. You don't have to move every asset by itself if there's a parent-child relationship. Which, you know, that argument, there you go again. The, the argument for the rotating item and the definite argument for for uh, using the sub-assemblies uh, that's also part of the rotating item. Uh, that, that's pretty much it. it it's... It's pretty powerful. I mean, look, we you know we ended up with the priority two. Uh, oh, let's go check the users of custodians, right? Is associate user custodian? Uh, oh, what happened? It didn't take. Uh, hmm, that's something to look into. It might be the the site, or we might have added it wrong. Uh, we'll, we'll take a look into that, and we'll cover that in another video.